so um, GE has uh, made a massive investment in building software to manage the data explosion that is created by increasing uh, the intelligence of industrial machines. The cornerstone of this investment is GE Software in San Ramon, California, where we're building a cloud-based platform for the industrial internet that we call Predix. So I'm, I'm going to talk to you today about um, what my team has been working on. I, I work on the Predix team. We're uh, building a platform uh, for building mobile applications. And uh, we started this a year and a half ago, uh, and one of the key things for us at that time was that uh, um, this app, the applications that were built with this, the users needed to be able to work in environments where connectivity was an issue. They had to work offline. And so, um, so how does this fit into this data explosion that's going on? Well, what, I'm, what you'll... You know, we've all heard about it. Uh, machines are getting sensors. Uh, they're getting more and more sensors. They're, they're, they're not just being put on the high-value assets. They're being put on the, uh, you know, the, the superstructures, on the pipes, everything. So there's more and more sensors. All these sensors are, are generating uh, lots of data. And that is going to be collected in the cloud by Predix and we'll go through uh, analytics, and from there, there'll be uh, actionable solutions. Things, you know, we're gonna use these analytics to help our customers improve their assets. So, the, the assets are, the people that, that uh, take care of these assets are the, the workforce. These are the, the, one, the folks that are out there in the field that are maintaining, they're servicing, operating these assets. So these are the ones that, that need this, uh, uh, need a, uh, a, a platform where they can work in environments where they don't have uh, connectivity. So GE builds uh, big industrial machines. They're, we're in aviation, oil and gas, power and water, healthcare, and so, in remote places, you're, these, these, here's a, a, an oil rig, you know, out in the middle of somewhere. Uh, and so, and these, these machines, these, this oil rig will have sensors on it. Data will be collected, analyzed, analytics, actionable solutions, make adjustments. Places like this, this platform has to work there. Connectivity was, is a really key part of, of, for us. So, so Predix is, going to, is a cloud-based solution. We're uh, in the process of uh, building this now. It'll be uh, um, open to the public uh, later this year. And we're going to be inviting uh, the development community to join us in building uh, applications on top of this platform to really, I mean, the, the, to really empower the customers, find ways that they can optimize their assets. So here on the top of a turbine, well, I, you know, it'd be hard to imagine him holding an, an iPad, but. The point is, you know, these are remote places in a shielded control room or on a pipeline. You, know, you could imagine um, that with this pipeline now having sensors on it that are going through analytics, we can start to um, determine if there's an unsafe condition, if there's a possible failure. And, and then dispatch a, a crew to go out to this, this pipeline and, and investigate it. And you know, they would bring their device and, and with the information and, and uh, you know, do their inspection, note it down, and when they're back online, it would sync 
um, with, your, with the, the back-end system. So our first uh, release was last uh, December, and we, st we started building that uh, at the beginning of the year, and so at that time, we, we, we knew from the, from the beginning that offline support was a critical part of our, our uh, um, platform, needed to be. And so we built it in. Um, at the time, we, we wanted to find a solution that there weren't any available. Um, we looked, and, and there, were, there, were, um, there were products that had offline support in it, but it was, a, it was a total package. You had to use the whole thing. We just wanted to have the underlying support. And um, so we built our own. We used uh, a message bus where we could uh, guarantee that the, these, uh, the data would, would uh, be delivered between the, the back-end systems and the clients. And it, worked, it works uh, really well. It's, it's a, it, it did what we uh, designed it to do. And we were able to build applications, or our solution teams were able to build applications on our platform. We have one group that um, they built this damage assessment uh, application. And if you imagine a utility company in the southeast of the, southeast of the United States that, uh, you know, a hurricane comes through, lots of damage, and they have to figure out what's damaged. So the uh, utility companies from the surrounding states send crews to that, that state, and there's a, uh, they're trying to assess what's, what's happened here. So what they do is uh, they have a, they've built an application where they can give to the crews uh, the information to go out and walk a circuit or a power line. And they, so the, their device will be loaded up with the uh, actually, the map tiles for that circuit is a map interface, so they, they get it, it runs on an iPad. Uh, these crews get their assignment to go ins inspect a circuit, and uh, they then go out into the field, walk the circuit, and note what uh, damage is done. And they're doing this in a you know, disconnected in, um, environment. Uh, and then when they come back online, they sync up with the back-end system. So by doing this and making it the utility company can more rapidly assess the damage and then dispatch the crews to the, uh, you know, to the high priority places to get things fixed. So that, that's what we were able to build with our, our, our version one of our platform. Uh, some, the lessons we learned is that um, we were caching these, the data on the client and, and uh, when you're offline it would you would, it would sit there. Um, actually, when you transacted, when you committed something, it would go into the, into the message queue, queue up, and when it would come online, it would then be delivered to the back end and processed. Uh, but the, the solution builders wanted more advanced caching. They wanted to use it for local storage. They, they wanted uh, to be able to um, control how long that that object uh, stayed cached. So that, that was one of the, the key lessons. Also, we needed a more flexible data model. We simplified the data models uh, on to make it easier to build uh, our, our offline feature. And, and that's, let me just say one thing here, and I'll, I'll talk about it later. When we chose to build it ourselves, we had to put our best engineers on it. This is a hard thing to do. And what that meant is those engineers were not available to work on other features of the platform. So, um, so that was a that was a real that was a, a, another important lesson here. Uh, and conflict management, we had really no conflict management, and we didn't need it uh, because, uh, and you'll see as you've seen in the, some of the slides that that. Uh, Usually, you know, these, these workers are out working on an asset, and if there's a conflict, it's probably caused by the guy who's standing right next to him on the asset. Same time, they, these assets, the data doesn't change very much. So, conflict management is not as is critical, but it's becoming more and more critical as our solution teams start to get um, 
you know, wanting to build more uh, advanced applications. So we, we uh, got together in January after our release in December. We started looking at how are we going to, you know, from these lessons learned, how are we going to make changes? And we said, no, we can't do this. So we needed to look for an alternative solution, uh, something we could build on. And we've been tracking Couchbase Mobile. It was released last fall. We, a couple of the developers on my team had done some uh, um, investigation into it. And we liked what we saw. And so we got together for a day, kind of dug into it. And it really fit well with what we're doing. It, it, the uh, JSON, uh, we had a JSON um, object model that matched really nice to their document model. Um, and so we did a proof of concept in five days. Essentially, we, we plugged in uh, Couchbase Mobile and could demonstrate, prove that th it would work, that we were able to do offline transactions. So we, we uh, said, OK, let's go forward on this. And, and we were able to migrate it in 30 days. And we replaced all our functionality that we had built in the first version, plus we had built, uh, we had a lot more flexible uh, um, base to build on. And my top engineers didn't have to focus on this anymore. We could move them onto other features on the platform. There, uh, just quickly, I think, you know, there's been a, if you think about um, how we've evolved, when businesses, when, when the web just started, businesses uh, rushed out and got a web page up. And then eventually, you know, they started building real enterprise applications. Uh, and the same thing's happening in mobile. When mobile, um, you know, became popular, businesses said, oh, I gotta get my app in the app store. And so they rushed to do it. And now we're, the businesses are just getting around to building enterprise apps, and this is where you know, we, if you're, you're in this disconnected uh, world, uh, so um, this, is, this is, I mean, GE is just getting around to building these applications. This, it's really amazing that this is becoming an uh, important issue now, but that's where we are, and I think that's probably true with other businesses. Uh, Forrester Research has done some research into that and found that too. So here's our earlier architecture. See the message bus, uh, cards, context, and on, offline. Though the top two are the things we built. Uh, card is a front-end development system. Here's it afterwards, uh, a lot more colorful. You see Couchbase Lite. That gives us the local storage, mobile sync, the server, and cards, context. Lessons learned. Uh, there's a mind shift. Once you, you, when you come from a request response world, uh, you know, uh, RESTful interfaces, it, you gotta shift your mind. You gotta realize you're dealing with a replicated, distributed database. And, but once you do it, all of a sudden things get a lot easy, a lot easier to solve. Couchbase Lite for storing local data, and performance improves because you, you have this local uh, database on your device. So you're reading from that. You're not having to go over the wire to get the data. And uh, one of the, the things we found is that this pattern of CQRS, which uh, really is about separating your reads from your writes, works really well with Couchbase Mobile. It, and case are, you know, you've got, like, we have a, one customer that's, they move cars around a rail yard. And the system they're talking to, the source of truth is this mainframe, is probably put together sometime in the 80s. So they, how, do, how do we keep, you know, when the, on the device, when they, when they do the move and they commit that, the other, uh, that information is not true till the back-end system says so. So we, we, don't, we don't update the picture of the, the, the document that has the track information where the cars are. We send a command that goes, that we write a command object command document that replicates the server, a change worker, or command processor, picks it up, and then interacts with the backend train management system. When he gets the result, whether it's a success or a failure, it will then update the uh, command object to, so that the client knows what happened, and also update the track 
to, if, it's a, if it was a successful move, it'll move the car. And then that replicates out to uh, um, everybody that's uh, seeing that. So that, that works really well for us. Offline first, uh, we, you, know, you start with mobile first. You build better applications. Connectivity is an issue. Uh, and you have to, if you're an enterprise app, you're going to be syncing with back-end systems. Uh, data on the device needs to be secured when you're, um, you know, the data is at rest. And when you're offline, you have to be able to log in to the app. And you've got to prepare to work offline. The devices have to be, in those cases like the damage assessment, where they go out in the field, they had to be loaded up with the map tiles. That's what you have to do. And then it, you've got to address the UX. This is the, inter, the experience changes. So taking an offline first approach, will, you'll build, build better applications. So, so looking back over the last year and a half of this project, from us uh, building in the offline support ourselves to the rollout of our first release and to our switch to using Couchbase Mobile. Uh, so one key takeaway is that Offline support is hard to do right. So get some help. Couchbase Mobile is a great place to start. Thank you. <laughs>